Hello? Hello. Dr. Munchie? <laughs> Paint. <laughs> Paint. Oh, oops. I'm, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. Sh shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. Where is everyone? Um. This place and I know they really wish we would uh, fall uh, till we fall uh, on the big bad wolf is a full moon. What's up guys, Spot Shark here, and welcome to Soma, a horror game, puzzle horror game type thing, made by Frictional Games, the guys behind Amnesia. So, this should be pretty scary, though, I mean, I guess I don't really play Amnesia, but I saw playthroughs, and it was pretty freaking scary, so, well, tension, I guess, but it was, it was, it was yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. New game, this is Soma. Let's do this. Oh, there's a brain. Okay. Mm hmm. Cool. It's a cool brain. Um, I think something's wrong with it, though, because it's like transforming and shit, so. Oh. Reality, reality is that which, when you stop believing it, does it go away. No, that, no, who was it? No! Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Yeah. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Yes, Simon. Why now? Who's David Munch? Who that? Why is there never enough time? For what? Accident. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Oh, hold up. I'm stuck. Oh. Yeah, I'm up. Yo. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Yeah, yes. that's me. Mm -hmm. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Just a bad dream. He's all right. Still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Alright, can, can I get up? Why am I running at 30 FPS? What is this? This is capped at 30. Oh, no, it's going back up. My mouse sensitivity is shit on this though. Hold up. Hold up. Um. Mouse. Yes, there we go. Holy shit. Smooth mouse. Oh, no. No inverting. Okay. Hold up. Is it refresh, refresh rate 60? That's what I want. Uh huh. Depth of field, sure. Gamma, that's fine. Are we good? Can I get 60 frames? Ah. Ah. Wait, I, I think I need to turn it up a little bit more. Yeah. We good, we good, we good. Okay. It's dark in here. Alright. Alright, there's a bottle. Um. Wait, let me bring it to the light so I can see it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't break it. Oh. Okay. I'm breaking shit. Oh, never mind. Where did I put the tracer? Hey, oh. Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. Love you, miss you, mean it. Okay. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? No, you didn't, probably. You're a forgetful person. Alright, uh, what are these? Those jeans? Okay. What's this? Alright, these are all clothes. Um. <gasps> sunglasses! Can I wear these? How do I? Oh, oh, how do you rotate? Oh, like this. Is this a knife? Oh, it's a pocket knife. Okay, let's just put that back in there. Or not. Um, ooh, a book. Oh. Hooked by Robin McConnell. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's, Diana's 
Paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching them right, stretching them somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, my mystical and absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. <laughs> uh, that's funny, man. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay. What is that? Oh. Oh, sorry. Is that a lighter? A. Hey. God damn it. <laughs> Can't ever put anything away. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? It's radioactive. What? That's not good. Light switch. Oh, my keys. And a note. To Simon Jarrett. Uh, sure. T wait, t Toronto? Okay. I can't. Um, trash. Fridge. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Yeah, probably. It's not bad, though. It's like, I got a lot of, what is that, pan pizza? It's got a lot of pan pizzas. And a full pizza. Alright. That's good. That's good. I'm back to 30 frames for some reason. Hold on, let me just... Uh, let me just change my damn options, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Alright. What is it? Don't tell an accident to kill his young woman. Oh, are we in Canada? We're actually in Toronto, okay. Yesterday, a uh, driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Laura Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were, both, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall <gasps> sustained devastating damage and suff suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, <gasps> Survived, but with complicated results, believed to something leave him with permanent brain damage. Oh, no. I have permanent brain damage. Sounds like me in real life. I right, know, but what is this? No. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Thanks, Mom. You're always there for me. The cinema. Oh, cinema variety. Summer blockbusters. Massive recoil. Flawless ex execution too. In theaters December uh, 13th. Can't read, can I? What's that? Wait. Can I want to I wanna get to the other one. No. Fun. Fuck you. Alright. Uh. From David Munchie. Thank you again for, for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. <clears throat> Sir, I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Okay. Nice. And, uh, dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but still too early to tell... To how well it will adjust to damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure, since uh, excessive stress could be fatal. I have written you a prescription for prazoin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions, instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. Okay. Hi Jesse, since oh, you probably forgot, forgot. To get sent. here's how here's me reminding you that I've got doctor appointment tomorrow. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack, unpack, unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it. We'll send that shit right now. Well, Better late than never. What else you got in here? Nothing. Oh, might be. Is this my bathroom? Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Drink that shit. Mm. 
No pumpkin. No. Nope. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Pumpkin, oh, get off my lap. Ah. Sucking on a penny, yes. Oh, toothpaste. Alright. Uh, spray of some sort. I want 60 frames. Okay. Can we leave now? Oh. Here we go. Oh, back to the brain. Oh, it's gone. Oh my god, back to 30. Huh. How's everyone doing? Everyone doing good? Oh. My phone? Jesse. Answer. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Hopefully. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. True. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know. Dying thing. Dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. He probably will. Knowing Jesse. Well, Alright, what are we doing now? Right, stop talking to yourself. Jesus, man. Oh, this guy, man. What do we do? What's happening? Why it's black screen? There's no brain. Oh, it's not the brain. The brain's there. Oh, no. It's God, no. Um. Hello? Hello. Dr. Munchie? Uh, paint. <laughs> paint. Oh, oops. I'm, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Shh. Shit. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Where is everyone? Um. I thought this place would be busy. I like a painting. Hey, that looks like me. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, um. Oh, people on the beach. Alright. Beach is cool. Can I get some what? Is there a cup? Is there a cup anywhere? Hello, a cup. Can I just press the button? Mm. Oh, bubbles! No. Oh, bubbles. Oh, bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Oh god, turn it back on. It's spooky. Uh, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the recession. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Rocky. Hi, <laughs> Paul. Talked to Pace about using. Wait, which one came? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this one later. Okay. I uh, talked to Pace. Oh, talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and oh, and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the uh, empty recession area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use a scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other uh, to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Okay. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Dr. Oh, Professor Wee Wei to have it. <coughs> to have him. <laughs> fuck me. To have him vouch. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei, and to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll ha leave a note or something in case we forget. Well, where'd you put that, man? Where'd you put that code? Look, a cup. Can I use this cup and get water? Alright, that's a shitty-ass cup. 
two, three, five, seven. Star. But I don't know. Uh, let's, let's find this code. Um. I guess the logical thing would be in like one of these drawers. So, or is it in the trash can? Oops. I guess not. Uh, what's this? That's a book. Are these even books? There's like nothing on them. Alright. Hey, what's this? Tweak for right length. Oh, 2501. Is that the code? Is there anything in the middle drawer? Oh, USB. Give me that. Oh, what's the USB? Oh. Trial and error. Uh, it's just a lot of brain stuff. You guys can read it if you want. Uh, yeah, brain. Okay. Oh. Plug this USB in here. Fine. Jeez. Fuck your USB. Was it 2501? 2501. Can I? Okay. 2501. 